Hi guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrap and 2. It's been a while. So today I'm making a DIY uh, watercolor palette. Um, I actually had bought some, not this, but uh, some tube watercolors. Uh, before, I've, I've been kind of intimidated with the tube watercolors, so I didn't really purchase any uh, tube watercolors. But uh, since then, I've gotten some other uh, tube water. Uh, colors and of course you need a palette when you buy two watercolors so um like my uh, mission gold that uh, I had bought in tubes and then I needed uh, the what is that the uh, palette thing that would accommodate that many um, uh, color so anyways uh, that's that but then so I wanted to kind of um, create like a DIY palette so that uh for some of the other two paints that I have just random here and there and so I can just make a small little palette to take around so so far this right here is my uh, trial so I wanted to see if this works and then if so then I was gonna use my uh, better quality uh, tubes to make another one like this was a no-name brand kind that was uh, included in one of those large sets that has like brushes and I actually purchased that for the desk easel and uh, th it had these watercolor paints so I wanted to go ahead and try to make uh, one you can obviously put it in um, any container uh, the most uh, famous ones are the tin ones you know like the Altoid tins and stuff like that but like I don't really eat candy and like mints or anything so I don't have any uh, tins so I decided to just go ahead and use this old Stampin Up uh, case that I have here and um, I found some uh, bottle caps not a, I, I've been just I've been saving some bottle caps and we don't drink too much bottled water uh, but so I've collected uh, just enough so that I can create one palette so this is what I did this is one of the packaging here from um, I don't know what it was a packaging of but then I cut it so that just so that it would fit nicely in there uh, for my palette and just in case it gets wet even though one side has like a shiny finish uh, I could have laminated it but instead I used the packing tape and I just put tape on it and I just cut around it so that it looks like this so if this works I'll be able to fit 24 pans in here actually not pans they're uh, bottle caps but um that would be very convenient it would be small because I've noticed that I've been so obsessed lately with watercolors that uh, I haven't been in my craft room I've been just uh, doing a lot of coloring in my um, other areas uh, that's probably one of the reasons why I haven't been uh, making videos um, because of the uh, my watercoloring obsession and so there you go so I made um, I just cut it off so that's that I don't know if I'm going to be like fast forwarding this or I don't know if I'm gonna just do it how it is but uh, so now I have two um, you could of course uh, use like a palette like this that you can buy uh, which I have several but I'm saving this for something uh, uh, another uh, watercolor tubes but um, so I wanted to try to make my own to see if this will fit so there's actually only there's uh, 10 there's 11 in here because um, I don't want to put white so I'm gonna go ahead and attach all the bottle caps to this piece but before that, I don't know if I'm gonna do it before yeah before that I wanted to put like a little string thing over here so that I can just uh, grab it out easily so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I don't need much maybe just a little bit here hmm I'll go ahead and double it so sorry guys I haven't been really productive lately just gonna go ahead and 
trim that and then use a stapler to staple it here. Let's see. So, like so. So while I was in, um, I didn't even tell you guys where I was vacationing, of such a long vacation, I was actually in Korea for over, about two and a half months. So I stayed there for a very long time and that was because my daughter was going to summer school over there. Uh, she wanted to try that out so that's what um, she did and I basically tagged along and kind of kept her company because since uh, she doesn't have anybody over there and it's a foreign country so I was kind of worried so I tagged along with her and it was a fantastic break so it would go like that so that's pretty cute so while I was there there was so many uh, Daisos around. I've never uh, heard of Daiso, but I guess uh, I've been watching, I've been binge watching a lot of uh, YouTube, and um, many people have mentioned about Daiso, and it's like a Japanese dollar store, but they had a lot of them in Korea, and I bought a lot of little stationery sets and things like that for my youngest one to bring back and um which was perfect but obviously because we were flying um you know the luggage the weight limit and stuff i don't even know if this thing is open i'm gonna go get my other uh glue hold on okay so um back with the glue so as I was mentioning, um, yeah, I've been binge watching a lot of YouTube and I always, I always enjoyed watching um, like art hauls. This is like really hard to squeeze out. And um, I enjoy watching any hauls actually. Oh my gosh. And then um, I just want to make sure I have enough room for all three rows there. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's what I've been watching and um, I've seen like art supplies that people have picked up from Daiso. And the funny thing is, there was Daiso all over and it, I used to like go there all the time like just to look around like I can get lost over there. It was ginormous. It was like five stories. There were some that was like five stories big and there was just way too much stuff to look at and all the goodies and of course the cheap prices. Um, the prices weren't like super cheap. I mean there were some things that was like dollar and then I mean in a uh, US dollar and then it goes up to like ten dollars and um, you know I've picked up some stationary sets like I said for my daughter and I couldn't bring back much because paper weighs so much that I could only bring back like I had to basically pick and choose and so one of the things that I told myself that I wasn't gonna buy while I was there was art supplies because I have enough and you know I should use what I have so that's what I told my daughter and I said we, um, we are not going to any art stores and which was fine with her because she doesn't really buy art supplies uh, but she uh, did purchase like uh, pencils and uh, cute little mechanical pencils with erasers and like refills and things like that because she draws a lot um, like in charcoal pencils like that type of thing not like what I do and so it was perfect for her and she found a lot of the things that she needed which was great and um, 
So in the Daiso, of course, has like a section of stationaries plus art supply type of aisle. And every time, you know, she would see it, she would tell me, oh, don't go down that aisle. Because <laughs> if I see something that I want that is like cheap and I can't buy it because I can't bring it, then I'm going to be so sad. So for me, it's like I don't like to eye shop. I don't window shop. You know, if I can't buy it, I'd rather not look at it type of a thing. And um, that's how it was for me over there because I had to really pick and choose uh, what I wanted to bring back. We brought back a lot of cosmetics and they were really heavy. So uh, that was a lot of our bulk weight. But um, that was what she wanted to buy and I bought a lot of things too with her. And um, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I didn't go to the art aisle in the art section. I didn't uh, get to pick up. They had this super cute portable palette, you know, like these that I've seen people buy. It's like this, but it's like half the size. It's super cute. Oh my God, if I, if I would have like, I think so that was kind of like, for me at that time, I thought it was a good idea for me to not even look at it and uh, not bring back anything. And now that I'm back and I'm thinking, oh my God, that was like the dumbest mistake I've made, I think. Because if I would have seen those palettes, they were like a dollar. People were saying it was like a dollar, dollar fifty. But even if it was a couple dollars, I mean, the size of it was perfect. I would have probably brought back like um, five of them. And, you know, they weren't, um, they're not heavy, so that would have been really great. And I've seen people buy brushes from there as well. Um, they said that's pretty good. Uh, so, but too late now. I mean, it's not like it's a place where um, I can go visit quite often because it's international and it gets kind of pricey and um, things like that. So, oh well. But see, so even in California, I think um, they have. So maybe one when I, um, if I was to go visit uh, my family in California, maybe we'll look for it. But I've never seen one while I was in California either. So maybe I'm not looking hard enough. But so I've been like watching that. I'm like, oh my god, I so want those little palettes, and that's why I decided to make this. <laughs> So that it'll make me feel a little better because like I feel really bad because I didn't get to get one and then Sorry about that. That was my husband and then um, it's like um, Yeah, so I have another one here. So if I This idea works okay for me then I figured I would fill this with um, the watercolors these I couldn't find my reeves uh, the first uh, watercolor tubes that I've ever purchased was Reeves uh, and um, I have it in my huge ginormous palette that I first bought when I uh, first bought those set and I filled it in there but I couldn't find where I put the rest so I don't know if I threw them away or or what not because I didn't uh, really care for them but I don't think I would have thrown it away I just put it somewhere and I could not find it so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in here these are not quite dry so they still kind of move and slide so um, I don't want to put white um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and so these are the ones that you have to like poke the hole and it'll just ooze out I think maybe not Maybe these are old. I don't know. Oh, they're coming out. I'm going to put some in there like that. And then when I um, use like, you know, inexpensive brands of whatever the watercolors are, I usually put a drop of glycerin because most likely they will um, crack. So I'm going to put a drop in there. And this must be, these don't even have names of the colors. This is must be yellow ochre type of a color. So let me kind of put this, I don't know, maybe it's a vermilion. So 
even bottle cap this was what all I could save so there's so many fantastic DIY palettes out there and I really want to um, look for like those Altoid tins even though I don't like those mints I could just use them for um, the tint so I think I might want a little bit more yellow I like yellow I've seen people use um, those metal uh, pencil holders especially you know the ones with the double compartments uh, that would that would be excellent they had those over there too at Daiso <laughs> and I didn't really pick them up because my daughter don't my youngest daughter don't really use that and a lot of the things that I picked up from the Daiso was uh, for my daughter so for my youngest uh, she's six So hopefully this will work out then I can make for my other um, watercolors because I bought some um, ooh this is a lighter blue I bought like a lot of like a watercolor the two watercolors I bought a lot of it um, like a, it was like a watercolor lot of many watercolors in um, on eBay so when those come I'll like share with you guys what I got I thought that was a pretty good deal it was like an auction type and normally I don't really um, buy do those auction thingies I think this might have been like a red maybe it looks like it's like a deeper red so I've been like following my kids around and like saying like oh my god if you guys drink water water bottle like save the bottles and they're like why <laughs> need to drink a lot of bottled waters <laughs> to fill like but we don't really like to do that because it's it's um you know not environmentally Good idea. I think I will use the black, but I won't put the white. Maybe then at the top one I could put maybe gouache. Gouache is a opaque watercolor. And I did find my um, gouache, however, um, and then they were, looked like they were squeezed out, you know, because I could tell because of the color at the top because you have to punch the hole. And I might have accidentally mixed my gouache with my watercolors. I thought it's too much. I don't want to put more than a drop. So if that's the case, then what what's in my palette right now, the large palette, it's not all of them are watercolors. Maybe some are gouache. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mix these and then I'll be back. Alright, so this is how they look um, after they are kind of 
the glue still hasn't um, really settled. I think it was because of the uh, packing tape. So I think it'll take some time before it kind of settles in there. I went ahead and mixed them all up and I kind of made a color chart while I was doing it. Not bad. The color pretty um, I like the colors. So we'll see how they dry and I'll probably take a picture uh, and put the picture of how they dried and then we can play around with them later. But the, another one, the other one that I could I put, I can put right on top and then make a second row of it. I don't want to put, put it right now because the paint's still wet but this um, I'm going to make another one and then I can have two trays so it can fit uh, 24 if I like. So what do you guys think? This is my trial. If this works, then I'm going to make other palettes uh, with other tubes. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you uh, have uh, another idea that I can try out, uh, you can leave that comment in the, um, below. And then I'll see you guys back next time. Thanks so much. Bye.